Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You should always back up your data to prevent data loss. You must be in single user mode to do this. QuickBooks recommends that you back up your files daily. That way, if the data in your company file becomes corrupted or lost, you can restore a copy of the file from a backup. After restoring the file, you will need to re-enter all of the transactions that you entered since the date that you created the backup file up through the current date in order to make your company file current. However, that is far less work than having to recreate the entire company file again. In QuickBooks, you have the option to create both local and online backup copies of your company file. The online option allows you to create backup copies of your company file on Intuit servers. This is, however, a fee-based service that you will need to purchase separately. You can create local backup copies for free within the software and simply store them off-site for added security if desired. To create a local backup copy of the current company file in QuickBooks, select File from the menu bar, roll down to Backup Company, and choose the Create Local Backup command. That will then open the Create Backup window. The Option button for Local Backup should already be selected within the initial screen. Then click the Options button at the bottom of the screen to open the Backup Options window where you can specify the settings of your local backup copy. In the Local Backup Only section, you can enter the pathway or folder directory where you want to store the backup copy. You can click the Browse button to open a Browse for Folder dialog box that allows you to visually select the location into which you want to save the backup copy. Once you've selected the folder or drive where you want to save the backup copy within the Browse for Folder dialog box, click the OK button to close the dialog box. Your selection will then appear in the Tell Us Where to Save Your Backup Copies text box. You can then check or uncheck either of the two checkbox options shown in the local backup only sections of the window if desired. The first checkbox, labeled Add the Date and Time of the Backup to the File Name Recommended, will add those elements to the copy of the backup file that is created so that you can tell when the copy was made. The second checkbox, labeled Limit the Number of Backup Copies in this Folder to, will limit the number of backup copies within the selected folder to a number that you then enter. In the Online and Local Backup section, you can check the checkbox shown to set QuickBooks to remind you to create a backup copy after you close the company file a specified number of times if desired. You can also select the Option button that shows what type of data verification to perform on the information within the backup copy that you create. This ensures that your backup copy is free from data corruption. Once you've made your choices in the Backup Options window, click the OK button to close the window and return to the Create Backup window. Then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen you choose when you want to create the local backup copy. To create a local backup copy immediately, select the Save It Now option button. To save a copy right now and also set a schedule for future backup times, choose the Save It Now and Schedule Future Backups option button. To only schedule future backups, choose the Only Schedule Future Backups option button. Once you've made your choice, then click the Next button to continue. If you're saving a local backup copy right now, then QuickBooks will open the Save Backup Copy dialog box. Here you can change the file name or destination folder of the backup copy if desired. Note that it defaults to saving into the folder that you selected earlier in the Backup Options window. When you're ready to create the local backup copy, click the Save button. Once QuickBooks has finished creating the local backup copy, it will display a small message box informing you of its success. You can then click the OK button that appears to dismiss the message box. Like what you see? 
pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.